With root comes a lot of responsibility and many people wind up just messing up their device. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to unroot if you just want to go back to complete stock. And I'll also be showing you guys how to unbreak your device if you manage to flash the wrong kernel or anything of the sort like I did. I flashed a kernel that kind of messed up my phone. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you are going to want to do is boot your phone into fast boot. Now if your phone is in a boot loop, press and hold power button and volume down until your phone just boots into the bootloader. Now again, if you're in a boot loop, just keep pressing these two buttons and it will boot into the bootloader eventually. It should take about 10 seconds. And if you are actually booted into Android and you want to you know, just restore your phone back to stock, you can just ADB reboot bootloader or you can hold the power button, choose restart, then choose bootloader, or you can just, again, just press and hold these two buttons until you boot into the bootloader. So after your phone is in the bootloader, just go ahead and press the power button on fastboot, and you see fastboot is highlighted, and then we're gonna go ahead and plug in our device. And you should, you should see fastboot USB right there. Now we can go ahead and put our device down. And what you are gonna wanna do is open up a command prompt, which if you go to the start menu, you can just type in CMD and then hit enter got two monitors and it will open this so what we're gonna want to do is hit fastboot OEM lock because we do have to lock our bootloader before starting this so this will wipe all your data of course so make a backup please alright so to make sure our device is connected you need the drivers and we're gonna type fastboot devices and you see my device is connected right there it gives you back your serial number and then we're gonna type fastboot OEM lock And then we're going to go ahead and hit enter. Mm -hmm. And then it will say lock to set successfully. You will get this failed, but that's okay. Just ignore that. And when your phone is booting mm -hmm. up, make sure mm -hmm. you press and hold volume down. All right, and there we go. Now you should be on fast boot again, and it should say relocked. So if it doesn't say relocked, type fast boot OEM lock again. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the power button. So we're back mm -hmm. on fast boot, and also we're back on fast boot USB. Go ahead and put that down. And we are done with the command prompt. You can go ahead and close that window out. And then you are going to want to download this RUU file, which I tried downloading this from here, and it pulled up some ROM for the transformer pad. So that's just a little heads up. I'm not sure why, but I am uploading the right return to stock RUU file to my Mega account. See, it's at 24%. I will add a link below when it's finally up and available for you guys to download. But what you're going to want to do is just basically run as administrator. So I'm going to bring this over, and you see right here, RUU DLX, which is the code name for the Droid DNA. You're going to want to right click, and then you're going to want to run as administrator. All right, and once you open it, it will start this setup wizard. You're just going to want to go ahead and let this continue. All right, and then it opens up this HTC Android ROM update utility, which if you guys had an HD2 or any HTC phone, you guys remember this. So we're going to go ahead and click next, open up on my second monitor, and then turn on your Android phone, which we are in fastboot USB, or we should be, I'll show you guys. You're still in fastboot USB, so we're just going to click I have completed the steps above, click next. All right, and then it says your current image information, and then we're just gonna click update anyways. Now, if you are running the 2.04 and you are not S off, this will not work for you because it will say you're trying to flash an older version. All right, and it just brings up another window saying, are you sure you want to update because it's going from 2.04 down to 1.15? Yes, we do. Keeps pulling us up on my second monitor. And then we're just gonna click next here. All right, and so it kind of forced me to use my you know, main um, laptop monitor, so. But this is what your screen will look like, but it will say it's erasing user data. And so again, you wanna make sure you have a backup, or if you've already done it so far, you've lost everything, so. <laughs> All right guys, and once that is done, it will say congratulations, it has completed. So we're going to go ahead and hit finish and go to the phone. All right, and you see that our phone is rebooting. And there you guys have it. We are fully booted up into stock. I'm going to hit next. 
there we go go back to the home screen so I can just show you guys the software information because I was on new to roots since 5.0 ROM we don't need information go to settings go to about phone go to software information and here we have it if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see any more videos on this phone leave a comment below and I will see you guys in the next video